Hey guys, good morning and uh, welcome to Dan's Vlog's channel. <laughs> it's been over a year since I posted a video. Maybe I posted something quick and small. I think I posted a couple shorts. Uh, our friend Amanda falling off the front porch. Um, that was one of our shorts we put up. I have been a little bit active on my trucking channel, although not lately because it's boring. There's only so many times I can film the same route, doing the same thing, driving the same truck, talking about the same crap. Um, so I kind of just been chill, you know. It's been a really rough time in, in America lately. Um, but this has been a really good week. Uh, it's been a really good month, let's just say. The month of June has been a great month for America. Um, and if you follow any of the rulings and stuff that's been going on, then you know exactly what I mean. It seems like we're getting back to um, uh, conservative principles, which is what founded this great country. And so July 4th, I figured I'd make a video and say hey to everybody, uh, let you know I am trying to get things uh, back up underway with, with the videos and stuff like that. In fact, it took me over an hour to be able to put a rig together with my shotgun mic sitting on the table right here and um, using my iPhone 12 and getting the cabling right because it's a real pain in the butt. Um, you like this thing? Is that cool? You could change the colors. It's got a remote somewhere. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to do a quick little video today. I'm going to demonstrate that cordless mower that we used. Um, one of the last videos I put up I did a quick unboxing, demonstration, assembly, and like a quick basic review. But guys, I've had this mower now for a year and a half, I think. And I use it every week. I use it here now at our new house. Um, I am back with the wife. Um, we patched everything up. Me, the wife, the boys, we're all together now. We live, uh, we moved, I moved. Um, so we have a, a house now out east close to the beach um, so I'm talking to you right now on my back porch you see the building behind me where I store a lot of my equipment uh, but so what I want to do today and I'm charging up the drone is uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna run to my work I'm gonna go get my wireless mic um, I'm gonna send the drone up I'm gonna get the phone uh, recording at the same time I think we'll see maybe we'll just dub some music on it and uh, I'm going to let you guys see this mower, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. We're going to let the sun come up a little bit more, but not too much because it's hot as hell. And then the phones and the cameras and everything gets all pissed off. Um, but, yeah, so back with the wife. Got the kids. Uh, back to being a family. Got a new dog. Uh, I still have my dogs, but we got a new dog as well. Uh, her name's Nebula, so you should have seen that in the posts that I put up yesterday, the pictures. Those are my boys. Uh, Matthew's wearing the homemade glasses we made for a school project. We had to make uh, 10 items to sell as a part of their, their home economics or something class. And so we made, <clears throat> we, we made uh, out of crafts from uh, Dollar Tree, I think we went to. And um, we bought little rings and we bought um, uh, uh, popsicle sticks and we bought like feathers and beads and and um, hot glue and everything and we made 10 sunglasses all different styles and so that picture was one of them and uh, when he the, the 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 purpose of it was you have to sell or trade your items um, as a sense of being a business owner and learning what it's like to make things people want well we made those glasses at the coffee table in about 30 minutes and uh, I made some he made some I let him design what he wanted and I designed the way I wanted and um, they were all pretty much like that you know kind of fruity looking but what else are you gonna do and um, within about eight minutes he sold all ten pairs um, and he got a 100 in the class so that was really cool for Matthew he's 12 now in that picture and Nathaniel uh, he's 14 Matthew's gonna be 13 uh, in September Nathaniel's gonna be 15 in December um, Nathaniel's 5'7 I'm 5'8 um, Nathaniel is, uh, what was he, 235 pounds, um, just solid muscle. Of course, government standard says he's obese, but he's just solid rock muscle with no fat on his stomach. Um, he's still catcher for his baseball team for school. 
and he was a lineman for his football team last year. First year he played football, and he was a, a lineman. He didn't start out as a starter, uh, but he became a starter at the end. And um, so we're looking forward to getting him back in football. So, um, yeah, boys are doing great. It's summer break, of course. It's July 4th. We're going to celebrate July 4th um, in the front yard and in the back. I will uh, send a drone up for sure, and um, you guys can see how great this little mower is. But we're going to pull the camera off and go check it out and um, go over just a few points. Oh, yeah, sun's coming up now. Go over a few points. Um, don't mind the hair. It's an in-between. Don't really care. Um, I got my girl. I ain't trying to impress anybody. Um, but wait a minute. She's got her man. She's not trying to impress anybody. Huh. You better put makeup on. Yeah, you heard me. So anyways, um, and she's a big giant bulldog fan. I could care less. I just love good games. Um, if I'm going to root for anybody, I'll root for the bulldogs because I live here. Um, but I just want good games. Good, clean, fun, close games that right down to the wire. Um, but yeah, you'll see a lot of bulldog memory, memory, a lot of stuff from the bulldogs here uh, as we do more videos. And we are going to do more videos. So in the future, we're going to talk about my weed eater, my edger, my blower, and then we're going to take you around. You see all the bamboo over the shed. So we're going to be trimming all that crap up. Uh, we got a fire pit in that corner over there, and there's bamboo growing over the fire pit. So we got to clean all that crap up. Um, but yeah, we got a nice yard. It's pretty cool. Uh, we weed and feeded it. We, we, um, about two weeks later, we turf build it. And so it's really, it's really coming along nice. Still got the Harley, still got the Jeep. Do you guys even know about the Jeep? I bought a Jeep. I got a Jeep Wrangler. It's a 2006 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, it's the two door, of course, TJ. It's, it's, I don't think they had four doors back then. Um, I got it with 103,000 miles. It's got 33 and a half or 33 by 12 and a half. Um, nice big balloon tires. Uh, it's got a couple inch lift on the suspension. It's got a three inch lift on the body. I put the soft doors, half soft doors on it. Took the full doors off. It's got a soft top, which I always have rolled back. Except right now, this week, it's raining a lot. So I have the roof up, but I still have the sides, the back window out, and the half doors on because I don't care. It's a Jeep. If you can't get it wet, then it's an SUV. And so, yeah, so um, that's that. So I'm gonna kill this down and we'll go ahead and move the camera over. We're gonna go over this cordless mower because if you guys are in the market for a cordless mower, I highly, 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 highly recommend this beast of a mower. It's amazing, it's so light. Um, and the battery charges fast and it lasts a long time. The battery, I can almost do the front and backyard on one charge. But we'll talk about that. I'll show you guys in a demo uh, how I do that. But anyways, welcome back to the channel, and uh, let's get over to the mower. All right, folks. So uh, this is the Tac Life 40 volt. It's actually the model is KDLM 4040A. Uh, it's a 40 volt mower, which actually means it's a 36 volt battery. But then when you take uh, 36 volt, it's actually like a 12 volt battery is actually 12.7 volts to be like fully charged so when you go uh, uh, like if this was a 12 volt this might be a 13 they might say this is 13 volts but it's actually 12 but 12.7 so when you go like 12 24 is going to be uh, what 20 uh, 12.7 times 2 is actually what 25.4 volts uh, for 24 volt and then when you start getting into a 36 then you got uh, two, one, uh, carry to two, and then common core. And so you see what I'm saying? You're like really close to 40 volts when, um, when you're talking about a 36 volt. Um, one thing about this is I did ask them, hey, if I want to get a second battery, what do you do? And he sent me the link, and I'll see if I can find you that link uh, from my emails or whatever. And it's actually for a 36 volt battery. But the 36 volt battery... Is the same battery as this one that's labeled 40 volt all right I think they just round it up it's a China thing um, that's just what it is this is 36 volt 40 volt max and it's it's a uh, 4,000 milliamp hours um, so one thing about batteries when you're when you're purchasing a mower 
or weed eater or anything that's run on batteries you got volts and then you got amp hours all right your volts is going to be your is like basically your torque all right if you have a, a an electric bicycle that's 36 volts uh it's going to propel you on a 26 inch rim average body weight 180 pounds let's say flat ground it's going to propel you to about 19 to 21 miles an hour depending on the exact bike and the terrain um the same size battery but in a 40 uh, 48 volt is going to propel you to about 27 to 29 miles per hour okay because you have more torque delivering to the motor the motor is getting a lot more power okay what you lose though in this in the size is the ability for the battery to continue to provide power so this 36 volt battery is going to run for let's say 25 minutes this size battery in a 48 volt is going to run for maybe 18 minutes because you have more individual cells wired in series to increase your voltage but you don't have larger cells that are going to be able to deliver smooth power for an extended period of time so when you're shopping for a mower don't just look for the voltage but also look for the amp hours the amp hours is your distance that's how long the battery is going to stay um, powerful enough to run the machine that's whether it's a weed eater an edger or a blower a cordless drill a lawnmower or whatever Woo, that sun is brutal um, that sure does feel good uh, so this is 4,000 milliamp hours which means I think uh, 400 amp hours probably maybe 40 amp hours I don't know you do the math I'm not into that common core stuff um, but I just wanted to put that out there so when you're shopping for a mower let's say you buy yourself uh, a 56 volt right and you're like oh yeah or a 60 volt I don't think they'd make a 56 it'd go 48 it'd go like 36 48 maybe 40 but this 40 is 36 um, 36 48 60 so you get a 60 volt and you're like oh yeah it's a 60 volt this thing's gonna mow down everything and you're right and it's it's gonna have a lot of power but how big's the battery if it's a 60 volt and it's this size it's only gonna last maybe 10 minutes where this 36 volt might not have the power to rip through some really big stuff but it's gonna last maybe 30 minutes um, but then you start getting into yeah but if it's really thick or if it's damp then you're dragging on the motor and that's causing more power that is true but under ideal conditions you're just mowing your grass every week it's not sopping wet and it's not crazy thick maybe you're bagging it so it's it's quickly going into the bag um, comparing a 36 volt to let's say a 48 volt make sure you're choosing one that with the battery the milliamps or the amp hours or relatively the same and that is going to bring your cost up significantly between your voltages because what companies will do is they'll offer you more volts but a smaller battery or not necessarily larger than the 36 volt model that they're selling right next to it and for $150 more you can get the next voltage up but if the battery's not bigger actual more amp hours meaning the gas tanks bigger then you're gonna run out of all that 48 or 60 volts much faster than your neighbor who saved 150 bucks and got a less voltage mower but it has more more it has larger cells in it and that's how batteries are are made they're made with like let's just say two two uh two volt cells and then they take two and two wire it together that's four then they take that four and this four and they wire it together and that's 16. Then they take that 16 and that 16 and they wire it together and that's 32 now you have 32 volts all right um, but it's still started with these small little batteries and they only have so many amp hours per battery and so sticking more of those little amp hour batteries together doesn't necessarily make it better it just makes it stronger at the beginning you have to have more uh, of those little batteries bigger instead of like one amp hour little batteries all wired in the series you need to have two amp hour little batteries all wired in the series now you got volts and amp hours now you got a beast and that's a lot of times not what happens god this was a long explanation of batteries
but it's super freaking important that you understand batteries before you go buy a battery mower. Um, so in summary, 36 volt, 48 volt, check your amp hours, okay? You want them to be about the same, and then you know that you're getting good. If you're getting the 48, then you can say, oh yeah, that's good, because it's got the same size battery as the 36, so this is gonna, it's gonna be more power for the same amount of time, okay? So if it's the same amount, of, if it's more power but less amp hours, then you're not, you're not doing anything. Um, you might be able to mow down something thick, but then you're going to be out there with the weedy dirt finish. All right, so that's the battery, right? And the battery, the Tac Life battery, it comes with a little gauge on it. So if you push it, it'll show you if it's charged. If you can see, it's green. I don't know if you can see that. It's lighting up green. So that tells you how charged it is. So that's pretty cool. Um, it comes with the key for safety. Because if you leave the battery in, any kid can just push the button and push the thing down. So you could take your key out with you. The battery just drops in like that. Too easy. Um, it's got a nice little handle here. I mean, this thing's not heavy. I don't remember what it weighs. I explained all that in the other video. It has the collapsible handle so you can undo this and lay it down. We went over that in the other video. Um, it's got the bag attachment. It's got this little vent right here, and as long as this vent is going up and down, it'll be up. That means air is flowing through your bag. The bag's not full. When this thing starts to fall and it's like way down low, then that means your bag's full. Air's not going through. You don't have to sit there and kick your bag. It comes with a little butt plug, so if you want to mulch, instead of using the bag, you can throw your little butt plug in here somehow, one way or the other. I don't exactly remember how it goes because I don't ever use it. But yeah, it's got this little butt plug you stick in here somehow. I don't know. I don't use it. Um, I always bag. And it's really nice too. It's got the one lever adjuster. So, I mean, look how easy I can do that. Right? So, um, and then you can also fold your handle down. So you can fold it this way and then fold it back that way. And you have this small, tiny little footprint in your shed, your garage or whatever. Um, and that's it. Super quiet. I'll fire it up. Push the button right here and squeeze the lever. And that's that. And then if you look right here, you'll see this blowing up. it so that's the mower in a nutshell again i did a previous video i'll link to it up here it's the the um the whole unboxing assembly and review of this thing it's really nice comes with a nice charger you plug into any 110 um if you're in another country i'm sure you can get it in in uh, 220 um but yeah so we'll go ahead and uh do a little bit of mowing hey guys before we go out front and start mowing there's something i wanted to point out and that's the blade um this is still the original blade and I mowed my yard at the old house where I did all my videos from for the past five or six years um, almost every week with this blade. I've sharpened it once. Um, and I also would mow Save a Lawn, Save a Life. So this mower actually has two full seasons on it. I've taken the blade off once to sharpen it. And here we are now already into this season. So. You know, I say two seasons because it did two yards for one whole season. Um, so here we go now. Uh, still going. It's super easy. I think it's a 916 bolt. Comes right off. Sharpen it like a normal blade. Drop it right back on. Too easy, guys. All right. So what I've already done is I did like four passes on that side there. And I did like three passes over there. So basically, I'm just going to run back and forth now and let the drone catch what the drone catches. So we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so right here I'm dumping out the bag for the first time for you guys to see. Um, it's actually not in slow motion, although it kind of looks like it. But I just want you to see, we're actually taking off a, quite a bit off the top. Uh, so these aren't like tiny little pieces. They're actually, they actually got some size to them. And here's an example of me using the mower without the bag, just kind of like mulching a little bit. Some of it goes out the back door, which is fine. Almost like uh, getting a free rear discharge without paying for it. Alrighty, so, okay, now we're back on the cell phone and uh, I got the Rode wireless mic and you can check it out for yourself in the video descriptions. I linked to all the stuff. Um, the battery is getting low. It's hot as hell out. So that is going to, you know, start to pose a problem for you. Plus the battery's been off the charger since way early this morning when I filmed the first video. Uh, it's already almost one o'clock in the afternoon. It's really hot. I am bagging um, and it's rained a lot this week and I'm cutting it one notch lower. Uh, so that way it really shows on the video. Uh, but we still have enough to finish the front yard. So let's go ahead and do that. I forgot my bag. That's all right. So I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to hear me talking over the sound of the mower, but if not, I'll voice over. Um, what I do 
in order to do my whole yard with one battery is I either cut the front yard first, then I put the battery on charge and I weedy edge and blow off. Those will be other videos and I'll introduce you to my mowers that I, or my weed eaters and stuff that I have now uh, as a homeowner. <laughs> um, and then by the time I'm done weed eating, edging and blowing off, the battery has enough juice for me to do the backyard, which is just, you know, just mow the backyard and I'll have already had it weed eated. And uh, then I just mow the backyard and blow off the back porch and whatever. So that's how I do it. I said earlier that I'd, I'd explain to you about just using one battery. So that's how I do it with one battery. Now, if you order a second battery, that'd be great, but you don't really, you don't really have to unless you got a bigger yard. But yeah, that's it. It's done. I'm pushing. Just my thumb. Let me go ahead and pull this away a little bit. Show you guys what we got. So I'm gonna have to break in a new neighborhood with YouTube videos, but there you go. It does a really nice job. It really does. And you know, if you're looking for stripes, I don't think this mower is going to stripe. But it does put down, you know, nice lines, nice cut patterns. And so that's it. That's a review of the Tac Life 40 volt uh, battery powered cordless lawnmower. And a little update about what's been going on with me over the past year and a half that I haven't really put up any videos. So, um, Go ahead and leave comments below. Let me know what y'all been up to. How's business? Are you guys still doing it? How are you guys getting along with these super high gas prices? Um, I know you guys have lots of questions, um, like in my business sense, and I can help you out with some old man advice because I know you guys do. Uh, you need it, you want it right about now, and I'll certainly share it with you. So drop comments down, and we got more videos that are gonna be coming. I'll try to go back to doing a, at least a weekly video there's a whole lot of stuff going on now, and I'm going to incorporate it into my videos. That's why it's called Dan's Vlog and not Dan's Lawnmowers. So, um, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of training, a lot of stuff involved with the kids and um, yard equipment and all types of stuff. So I'll see you guys on the next one.